In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the headlights on your Hyundai Sonata. Let's get started. Remove the two clips on the splash shield on the bottom. There should be one more right here. Ours is missing. Do this on the other side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt on the corner of the bumper. There will be one on either side. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the 10 millimeter bolts on the top corner of the bumper. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the six plastic clips for the grill. Using a little pick tool and a trim clip tool. To remove the bumper, grab right at the corner and pull straight out. We're going to disconnect these clips and we're going to go do the same thing on the other side. Once we have those two corners popped off, we're going to go to the top. We're going to pick up. There's a little tab right here that you're going to have to remove. Pick it up off and pull the bumper straight forward. If you have fog lights, we're going to need to disconnect those. There was an aftermarket kit installed over here. We're going to have to figure out how to remove this bulb. It's kind of glued in. The normal connector for the fog light is going to look like this. Pinch on either side and remove the connector. And then you can remove your bumper. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt at the top of the headlight. There's one more bolt on the top front of the headlight. On the bottom side of the headlight, there's one more 10 millimeter bolt. Remove that. Since our vehicle was in an accident, this is not going to look exactly like yours. This tab on the headlight is going to grab onto this clip that is mounted to the body. Some person zip tied ours. I'm going to cut that zip tie off. And then right under here, this little clip has a tab. We're going to push down on this tab. It looks like there should be one more right here. So push down on both of those tabs and pull it out of the clip. Pull the headlights straight out. Before we remove it, we're going to have to disconnect the connectors. There's one right here. Push button on top. Push on that. Pull straight back and remove the connector. And remove the headlight. Get the new headlight ready for installation. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, pull on it. Make sure it's locked on. Push the headlight up into place. Install the bolts in the top of the headlight. And one more on the bottom. Repeat the same process for the driver's side headlight. Install the fog light connector if you have fog lights. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the bumper onto the vehicle. These top tabs will hold the bumper on. Go around to the side. Pull the bumper into place. Snap these brackets in. You should hear these connect. Ours are broken so you won't hear them click. They should click into place and stay nice and still. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the 10 millimeter bolts in the top of the bumper. Do the same thing on the other side.
install the clips for the grill. And do the same for the three on the other side of the grill. Install the 10 millimeter bolt in the corner of the bumper. Make sure the inner fender liner is sitting inside of the bumper. Since our car was in an accident, this isn't going to line up very well, but this should tuck right behind this bolt. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the clips for the front splash shield. Do the same thing on the other side and you're good to go. Now we're going to get the vehicle ready to aim the headlights. Start with the tire pressure making sure all four tires are set at the appropriate pressure. Remove any excessive weight that's not normally in the vehicle. Find a wall that you can drive up to where the ground is level. Measure 25 feet away from that wall and mark the ground. Drive your vehicle up to that mark. With the headlights off, look for the center dot in the headlight lens. Measure from the ground to that center dot. You can use a ruler to help you out. Transferring that measurement to the wall, making a mark with some tape. On the driver's side, measure down 4 inches, putting another piece of tape. For the passenger side, you only need to measure down 2 inches. Now turning the headlights on, it is easier to do this at night or in a dark area. Locating your headlight adjuster and using a Phillips head screwdriver, turn your adjuster one way or another to bring the headlight up or down. Once the headlight is adjusted to the tape mark on the wall, move on to the next headlight. If you're confused because the beams seem to blend together, you can always have someone stand in front of the other headlight while you make your adjustments for that one. Now your headlights are aligned and you're all set to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.